Local sports from KYMA News 11. Holtville softball makes its long-awaited return to the CIF San Diego section title game. Welcome back. The last time the Lady Vikings program made it that far was 1998 as they won the championship that year. This time around, the Lady Vikes smashed their way through the division playoffs and remain undefeated. Holtville was due to play number three seeded La Jolla in a playoff rematch, but La Jolla chose to forfeit the game, giving Holtville the fast track to the title game. Head coach Melissa Snyder talks about the mindset of her team going into tomorrow's title contest. There's always going to be those nerves and you feel those little butterflies in your stomach when you get excited and when you get nervous, but it's about the way that you look at things. So we're just trying to reframe that and have the girls remember, yes, you do have those butterflies in your stomach, but it's because you're excited. And this, this is the game we've been talking about since February, March. We got to remember that this is what we wanted. This is what we worked for. And it is at the end of the day, just another game. She reminds me so much of Jill Lerno, her mom, by the way. Holtville will face top seeded Bayfront Charter in the championship game tomorrow. The first pitch is scheduled at 11.30 a.m. at Helix High School. We'll bring you a recap come Monday. The winner will move on to the state playoffs. We at News 11 Sports wish the Lady Bikes the very best tomorrow. Well, unlike our own Brando Mejia, Craig Ingalls is not a household name by any stretch. But if the distance runner strikes Olympic gold in Tokyo, you can bet he will be remembered because once you meet him, Ingalls is hard to forget. My name is Craig Ingalls, men's 1500 for the United States of America. That is the very charismatic Craig Ingalls. He will be one to watch. I just like, I just like being different, and uh, I think growing up in a small town makes you that way. You know, you don't try and dress like everyone else. You don't try and look like everyone else. You don't try and act like everyone else. You just, you grow up being yourself, you know? <laughs> I never wanted to run. I never meant to run. Um, it just happened when I was in high school. It was this sport where it was all about what I did. Whatever I put into it is what I got out, and it didn't depend on anyone else. And it was, it was this amazing thing where I could just push myself as hard as I wanted. And I really liked that aspect of it, where I didn't have to depend on anyone else to be good. Oh, there's another one. Now it's my job to run, and the expectations are that I make the Olympic team and that I medal at the Olympics or make the final at least. I'm here to represent my country, and I'm here to win medals, you know? So it's that easy. All right, the countdown marches on for the start of the Tokyo Olympics. You can catch the games 35 days from now here on News 11. All right, we got more coming up right after this. Keep it here, folks.